Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Imperion Galactic Survival. This game came out on Steam a couple weeks ago, and I have a few hours in it now. I made an attempt to record a video the, like, the day I got this, the day it came out, but I wasn't really happy with it. I tend to like to do videos once I kind of know what I'm doing. There's a lot of awkward silence in it as I was trying to figure out how stuff worked, but now... I know how the basic stuff works, and I can share that knowledge and my future experience with you guys, my kind of loving audience, maybe. But no, we are in a survival game on the uh, the starting planet of Omicron. It is um, largely a desert planet with several oases, oasis, oasi. I don't know the plural of oasis. I'm just gonna call them oasises. Even though it sounds kind of dumb. But, if we go to the map, you hit M to pull up the map. That is my current position there. I have a ground base there. The remains of the escape pod that you start with over there. And, yeah, I've created myself a little ground vehicle. It's uh, quite basic, but it gets me from point A to point B much faster than walking. And, if you played this at all, you know that time is oxygen and food which are in um, short supply if you wander too far. So that's pretty good. But uh, let's head back to the base, and I'll give you a little quick tour of what's inside. It's not fancy at all. I actually find it to be quite ugly. But um, it's my first base, and I was just trying to get... just trying to get it functional, you know? Just get some shit in there just so I can survive. So here we have an automatic door. This here is a small fuel tank, as you can see on the top right. This is where you put your fuel packs in, and it uh, will run this small generator that will provide power to the ship, the base, the whatever. And I pulled up this control panel by hitting P when you're standing on uh, the blocks, and it gives you all sorts of uh, different stats. You know, the max output of your generator is its current consumption, time left, and then the power usage. So similar stats to uh, what Space Engineers gives you. And over here are all of the um, the blocks that are able to be controlled on here on the left. If I click on it, I can deactivate it and stuff. This here is the constructor. This is a large constructor. This will be able to make a lot of what you will need for future expansion. Uh, this is the this center of the industry right here. This is the weapon and tools tab. Um, different blocks that we have here. Components, I believe is that what that cat tab is called. Yep. Get all sorts of stuff there. And of course, devices. So we have all that. This is the inventory that it draws from, and when you queue stuff up, it goes right there. So might as well just build some more fuel packs, because you can never really have too much fuel. A note for fuel packs, and some of the other items, like it goes through one cycle, but uh, fuel packs you get two per cycle. See, 94, 96. So that's cool. By the way, you need Promethean pellets in order to create those fuel packs. You have some in your starting inventory in the survival the escape pod. And that Prometheum deposit is where you get Prometheum ore, and you can turn that into those Prometheum pellets that you can then convert into fuel. So uh, it's not a bad idea to have a base near one of those deposits so you can easily mine them and get plenty of fuel. Also, if you're picking a location for a base, I would suggest putting it near water, because I hear that um, oxygen generate, or I hear that this produces oxygen at a much more efficient rate than somewhere else. I cannot confer or confirm or deny that, it's just what I hear. And of course, you're going to need water for the water generator. You throw fuel packs in, and it will, uh, over time, next bottle in 114 seconds. And it'll spit out a bottle of purified water. You use that in different farming recipes, or if you just want to increase stamina, which, I mean, I don't really use it for that, because it goes up over time, but, you know. So, that's my little base. It's, well, one that part of the little base, the kind of industrial side. This here is an oxygen tank. 
this is where you put your bottles of oxygen. And I'm just going to show you. This would be a little bit of a waste, but... This here is the oxygen station. This is where you need to step into. It pulls oxygen bottles from the oxygen tank and will um, restore your oxygen like that. Now I'm full. This here is just a cargo box. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Here we have a nice view of the uh, the lake that we're on. The, the haze is rolling off the lake. Here's our farming room. You know, not too much to see here at the moment. I plan on expanding this. And uh, if you're planning on starting a farm, I hear that one of these lights can cover a 3x3 three three area. So this light, there is some overlap here. Like this light could cover that, that. Basically, the block directly underneath it, and the block's all the way around like this. All of that would be covered by a single light. I didn't really design this with that in mind. Uh, I just started building just to get a shelter. Some place to hide from all the baddies like to come out, particularly at night. But, yeah. So that's my base. It's not anything fancy right now. I, I plan on expanding it and making it look a little bit nicer because right now it's very... very bland. It's not... doesn't really stand out. It's not it cool. But I have more important things to do other than that. So, so so far, I mean, there's a decent selection of blocks that you can use for um, for building and shit. Oh yes, over here we have the food processors. This is what you need to create all sorts of different things, like adrenaline shots uh, to increase stamina. All sorts of medical stuff, it's all made here. As well as all sorts of different food items, which are listed here. Actually, might as well just make a thing of nutrient solution. But yeah, no, that's that's basically that. This is my base. There are many like it, but this one is mine. I'm just going to produce some flour, just because. Because why not, right? Like, I have a wheat farm for a reason, so I can start producing bread. <clears throat> so yeah, um, that's that. It's pretty nifty. I'm just doing a brief overview of this very first video. I'm not going to be focusing on any one thing. Um, if you guys, depending on what you want to see, I'll do tutorial videos on different things. Right now, this is more of just an overview and review of this game. So far, this game has a lot to offer. Uh, if you like Space Engineers, if you like Star Made, if you like Planet Explorers... This game is for you. This is kind of a mashup of all of those things. Like, it has the space element of Star Made and Space Engineers. A building system kind of similar to Space Engineers. You don't actually have to build up the block. Um, it's just a, it's a, an interesting mashup of those three games. It has the creatures and all sorts of kind of planetary exploration that Planet Explorers has, hence the name of the game. But... There's also other planets that you can explore. Let's see if you can see any of them right now. I know one of them is a moon of this planet. Right now in this game, there are only three planets to explore, as well as, I think, a small moon. Um, I think Omicron, maybe a couple moons of the other planets. Not entirely sure. Um, as of right now, it's just the three planets and whatever their moons are and some asteroids out in space that you can also mine. Hopefully, fairly soon, they're going to be adding a more like a bigger solar system. Uh, they're going to be expanding the size of the planets because right now it's really not that big. The diameter of this is 2.6 clicks, 2.6 kilometers. It's really not that big of a planet. You can pretty easily walk around it. Like this was just a little bit of a an exploration run I did, and I got all the way over there in no time. So they say they're going to be adding bigger planets. Um, there's going to be a procedurally generated galaxy. I I really want to see procedurally generated creatures. I think that would be a lot of fun. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. It's just something that popped into my mind that would be pretty cool to have, wouldn't it? I mean, just randomly generated monstrosities that you find when you land on a planet. It would really help 
the exploration element, which is what this game is pretty heavily fo pretty heavily focused on. It seems. No, I actually haven't left Omicron yet. I haven't been playing that long. But with a little bit of ex Oh god, that's a big scary fucker. How much ammo do I have? I don't know if I have enough bullets to take it out. We're gonna find out. My talk will be continued. Get out of here! I'm trying to talk to the audience! This is where stamina comes in handy. Fuck, gotta reload. Come on. Oh, the last bullet killed it. I need to make some ammo. Good god. Okay. Well, that means I have some more uh, meat that I can uh, either spoil to make nutrient solution that is used to... Um... I'll just show you. Nutrient solution is pretty important, important for farming, and to make it you need rock dust, purified water, and spoiled food. Now, nutrient solution is used to make growing plots, so if you want to expand your farm... Or just to get the sprouts. So, to get the sprout, you need... We'll just look at wheat sprout. You need one thing of wheat. And you need the purified water and nutrient solution. When you make it, you get two back. So there is a net gain. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm going to make some of this bread. Because bread is great. I was curious to see how much bread we get. But no, uh, meat is pretty important. And... Of course, you don't have to spoil it. You can use it for all sorts of these different recipes that are used. Um, all sorts of good stuff. Mmm, we have bread. I'm sorry, getting distracted about my bread. Don't get between a man and his bread. Nom 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 nom. Good stuff, man. Alright, so, where, where was I before the alien attacked? I should... I was going to tell you about uh, the different things that are on the planet for you to find. But before I go back out there, I should probably make myself some more, um, some more bullets so that I don't die. Fuck, I need to be making metal pieces for the bullets. <clears throat> what does it require? It takes ironing gas. Oh god. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Not gonna have enough for the rest of that though. Do I have any more iron I can process? Not really, no. That's fine. I'll be able to make some bullets. Two metal pieces. I'll be able to make a bunch of bullets actually. I know I have plenty of magnesium powder. I went magnesium mining. So, it'll all be good. But no, across the island there's all sorts of different wrecks. And I know it's dark, but you can kind of see one off in the distance out there, and I think my camera's off-center. I don't know if that's better. But no, off there, there is uh, a crashed ship that you can go and loot. There will be security drones flying around it, and these weird, like, robot metal things that'll try to kill you. It can actually get fairly intense, especially early game. And I'm not sure if it's in that direction as well, but I know off to the east... There are these security towers that will fire missiles and, like, plasma at you, and it'll be quite terrifying. I ran into one with my ground vehicle, and, um, had to dodge and weave my way out of there to save my life. So, yeah, just something to be aware of, that the planet is not really a friendly place. In fact, it probably wouldn't hurt to get some Gatling turret defenses up on your base. The sooner the better. Um, Yeah. Especially if you build a more hostile area. Now, I didn't really build a bad place. This is where you start right now. Excuse me. Yeah, that's the escape pod right there. But, yeah, no, this is a really fun game. And if any of you guys are thinking about getting it, just looking for someone to endorse it, this is me officially endorsing it. Uh, it has a lot of potential. I mean, I don't. people have asked me, is it as good as Space Engineers and... Like, you guys might know if you've been watching my channel. I really love my Space Engineers. But as of right now, Space Engineers doesn't have planets yet. I know they're working on it, and they'll be out hopefully soon. But if they screw that up, I don't know if they'll be able to recover from that. Like, planets is such a huge 
deal, and if they implement it properly, it'll be huge, but if it's just a bug fest, or if it just causes really bad lag, even if you have a powerful system, I mean, it's just kind of, Space Engineers isn't the balance. This game right here, right now, though, has planets, has the space element. Granted, it doesn't have the awesome physics and like, collision effects that Space Engineers has, but I think it's a pretty good balance. It's not bad. And as you can see here, everything's running perfectly smooth for me. So, yeah. I would say that this is definitely worth picking up. Uh, right now the multiplayer is kind of uh, iffy. I was having troubles getting a, a server up for it. Like, my firewall kept getting in the way and I didn't feel like disabling it. Or allowing it, like I tried allowing it through. I was just having some problems with it. Um, I'm sure that, I think they know that the multiplayer needs some work. But yeah, um, overall, this is uh, shaping up to be pretty, a pretty good game. I think this could become a pretty good thing here. Uh, granted, this is pretty alpha, but it, it has a lot of content in it already. I mean, just look at the constructor and all the stuff you could build in the different categories. You know, there's a lot of good stuff. And then, of course, there is everything in here, all the different foods. They have a fair amount of content added already, and it will only grow from here. I'm really excited to see where this goes, and I don't really have time to talk about the next things I was planning on talking about. I was going to go exploring a little bit in this video too, but starting in the next video, we will have a more Let's Play series. It's not going to be merely like talking at you about the game and the different features and showing you around. It'll just be me playing more naturally and just, you know, a Let's Play series. That's what it's going to be. But, again, I give this game pretty good recommendations. You guys should totally check it out. Put it on your wish list. Ask Santa for it. Do whatever you need to do and get this game because it is so far quite a bit of fun. I have, what, eight hours in it. Actually, I had to restart my world because I ran out of resources and it was pretty bad. So, I'll be talking more about how to do proper resource management, building ships, all sorts of good stuff later. And, by the way, I was looking for one of the planets earlier. That is the ice planet. Off there in the horizon. So, it does seem like there are orbital mechanics. Again, I can't really speak for what it's like out there in space in this game. I haven't left the surface. But I know that these other worlds that you see in the sky you're able to go to and visit and build on and explore just like this one. So it's a pretty cool thing. That world out there, you can land on it. Anyway, until next time, this is Ryan from Stromboldy Games, signing off. Thanks for watching.